Caddis Maximus here. Yes, this is another promotional product from Vampo. Probably the last one I'm going to get from them. The only reason I selected the, the two wrenches I got. One was a big three-quarter inch drive torque wrench, which I didn't have. The other one was one of these. They call them pipeline torque wrenches. This goes up to 160 foot-pounds. The build quality versus the three-quarter inch one, it seems pretty nice, but maybe not quite as good. I've been noticing sometimes like this collar doesn't really want to latch into place, although as I've been, like right here, you kind of have to push it forward. Although it seems to be cooperating as you, the more I fiddle with it and use it. It is all aluminum. It does look pretty nice. It's just, it's a slightly cheaper wrench. Anyway, it has interchangeable heads. Comes with a half inch drive head and comes with an open end wrench. And that was really the whole purpose of this. So I was noticing that these do have an arrow on them. So these are not, even though they're click type and many click type torque wrenches can work both forward and reverse. These are advertised working in reverse only. It includes an Allen wrench, but this isn't to adjust anything. It's just to use to depress the detent that holds in the pieces. So the whole reason I got this was exactly this the open end wrench. So you can use it to torque things like hydraulic fittings, uh, air fittings, air conditioning fittings, um, you know, brake lines, all sorts of stuff where you have a, a tube going through where you can't get a, clo uh, you know, a socket or a box end wrench where you need an open end wrench, but you do want to apply some kind of specific torque. And I'll get into this more in a minute, but I've reviewed a lot of adjustable wrenches on my channel and the, for 95 bucks, I think the wrench quality is okay. And I'll take apart this head. They surprisingly enough copied the New Britain design, which is the first time I've ever seen the design ever copied. So what is weird is that this ratchet head, half inch drive ratchet head, is actually surprisingly nice, surprisingly well built. And the adjustable end, which is really what I got it for, is surprisingly poorly built. I mean, we have a huge amount of jaw play. I mean, I've re reviewed probably 50 adjustable wrenches, and this is among the worst. It's really, I mean, at least it's manufactured relatively even and centered, but that's the only good comment. Super loose, even if we go all the way out. Doesn't matter where we're at. It's just the jaw has tons of play. As you can see here, the threads are squared. It doesn't use buttress threads. And... The grinding here, we can see where it's just much thinner on the moving jaw than it is on the fixed jaw. So this head, although it will be adequate up to the 160 foot-pounds, you just got to make sure that when you are putting this on a fastener, you got to keep it pretty darn tight. Otherwise, you do risk uh, having it slip. And so that was the disappointment was that the adjustable head is pretty poor quality. When it comes to adjustable wrenches, you do want to pull towards the moving jaw that way the corner of the faster when you're torquing is actually pressing on the upper part of the the moving jaw so it's actually prying it rather and reducing the amount of force that's actually going right against the threads anyway let's put this on the correct direction depress the detent it's not too bad snaps in there pretty good and that's what you have you have a torque wrench with an adjustable end there are things called torque adapters, which are like little sticks where you could you calculate the, you know, whatever, the extra 5% or something that you have to adjust your torque wrench for. And they are called torque adapters. And they, they're kind of like crow's feet, but they're about 2 inches long. And so they can go over the anvil, and that's how a lot of people um, torque things like hydraulic fittings and other tube fittings where you have to use an open end wrench. It's just more convenient to have an open end wrench and having the inner chain sockets you can get uh, exactly the size that you need. I was also noticing that the threads here are really barely engaged. So that's just a big disappointment on this is that the, uh, the open end is just so poorly manufactured. I couldn't find much to torque on so I'll just torque on my stool here. At least it has a nice loud click. So how's that going for it? Anyway, that's kind of the deal. For 95 bucks, I mean, it's cheap for a torque wrench. And for some reason, there is like this whole heyday happening with torque wrenches on Amazon. There's probably 200 different manufacturers of torque wrenches. It's really pretty crazy. This is laser etched. Not as deep as on the three quarter inch, but still pretty deep. Seems reasonable for laser etching. Um, I guess for 95 bucks, 
it's okay, but just a really low quality open end, which is pretty darn unfortunate. What's also unfortunate is their advertising. Let's see, I think they even, I wonder if they talk about that in here. They may omit it, but on their Amazon listing, they're advertising a 38 millimeter capacity, and they, indeed they have quite a few graduations, but uh, unfortunately that's not even the case here. So, you know, I'm having a hard time recommending this. There's probably, you know, if you're gonna get a cheap one, I'd probably find just a cheaper one than this because this just isn't great. Anyway, if we open this all the way up, there, it stopped and we measure it. I was wondering why this wouldn't fit on a 1 and 7 16 fastener. I was going to try it on and we're getting 36.8. So it's not even opening up to the 38 millimeters that they're advertising. So kind of a shame. I mean, I'm not going to complain too much because it's a free wrench and it will, you know, it allow me to torque once again, all sorts of fittings and stuff that you just can't get a socket around. And that I, the fact that I don't have those, you know, little torque adapter footies. So this will basically just live with the, uh, this adjustable wrench head on it. But nonetheless, um, they could have done a better job. Anyway, I'm going to quickly tear this down just to show about this head here, about this, uh, half inch drive ratchet head. So when you see these little blue dot ratchet heads, they're actually pretty good on the Vampos, except for they have kind of one critical flaw. Maybe that's what the sticker is for. The critical flaw, and we'll show you in here, is this is a copy of a New Britain design. I've done a lot of videos on those. Uh, New Britain uh, used to be, along with Western Tool or Western Forge, um, used to be a contract manufacturer for everybody. There's just so many brands, Pencraft, Huskies, Blackhawk, Mac, uh, they had made tools for just about everybody and they have a really reliable and pretty complex ratchet mechanism and I have commented about how it's never been copied. This company copied it, although they kind of did it in a really odd way. I was noticing, even though this is surprisingly enough, a little 10.9 fastener, uh, that it was loose, but it turns out that they have a slight issue. The issue is is that it actually has a standoff collar in there. It just happens to be just a few thousandths of an inch too short, so it causes the reverse lever or a reverse knob to lock up. And so I've been trying to find washers. We'll see. I have a little acrylic one here, which is like the perfect little washer to stand it off a little bit more. I'll try to find a metal one. But I find it odd because usually they'll just machine a lip on the head and then the reverse switch just sits on there and has a lip and it's all held together with one snap ring. So they kind of use an overcomplicated, they <laughs> overcomplicated and already complicated design. So you actually have that and you got to remove a snap ring here. And anybody who's watched my videos will recognize this. This is a copy of the New Britain floating Paul roundhead ratchet design. It's not a heart spring. This is using an over center spring, two layers of sheet metal. So when you flip this this way, the Paul goes the opposite direction. You do get to see it operate a little bit easier inside one of these. Here we go. So, which is, this is kind of neat. So you can see where it ratchets, if I can get my darn light and everything to cooperate here ratchets and then when you go the opposite direction you can just see how it acts as a cam design and it actually forces that whole big old wide paw and all its teeth to engage really is a whoop come on really is a pretty darn good design Super surprised that Vampo uh, copied it. It's not Vampo, it's just a whatever Chinese manufacturer is doing that. Um, because this whole design is, you know, the reason they aren't copied is because of how complicated it is. I mean, you've got two pieces of sheet metal, an over center spring, uh, a lock ring, the pawl, 
its spring, this complicated machining on the ratchet head. It's really surprising that they did this. It is, of course, bone dry inside. Uh, they could have lubed it. But besides that, I mean, I am just kind of blown away. It's the first time I've ever seen a copy of a New Britain. And it appears to be like a textbook copy. I am pretty sure that I could put this in a half-inch drive ratchet head and it would work just fine. They just, for some reason, decide to overcomplicate the reverse lever, which is metal. And so that's really the good news about this thing, is the fact that it actually comes with a surprisingly well-made half-inch drive ratchet head. Too bad I got it for strictly used for using with the as an open-end torque wrench, and the open-end is just low-quality. And yeah, I do tell that to these vent these companies that send me promo products and email when it comes to this stuff. I'll just tell them, appreciate them sending me the product, but I had a hard time recommending it uh, because the primary purpose is using with the open end, and the open end wrench is just really loose, really pretty poor quality. It will do the job, but it's not something you're going to be satisfied with. Anyway... See you next time.